Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Drew here at the Mighty Whitey Gaming Channel, back with another good one that I think you're gonna like. You know what? Actually, we're gonna change this up. I know you're gonna like. If you're a fan of Red Dead Redemption, I know you're gonna like this series that I'm about to start with. So, without further ado, let's get right on into it. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the Mighty Whitey Gaming Channel. As I stated in the beginning, my name is Drew. So I wanted to change this up a little bit and I guess give you all a little more insight into who I am, I guess, throughout this video series. Instead of just an average intro with jumping right into the game. So with that being said, my name is Drew. I've been an avid gamer since the 8-bit Nintendos. I know that's showing my age, but hey. And I've evolved just as the games have evolved, and I've grown to love each and every console and each and every game since then. As you can tell with my Valhalla series, I am an avid RPG lover. I love uh, just playing the game by myself at my pace, and I feel that's what an RPG gives me. So with that being said, today I'm going to bring you Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're going to dive in to the series, and I'm going to do a complete playthrough of the game. And I'm going to upload videos based upon the chapters as the game goes. So today is going to be involving chapter one. Now a little insight into chapter one. I did cut out a section of the hunting and the story of John just because they're extremely slow, long and drawn out and this video would be two hours long and no one wants to sit through that. So but I figured I did get enough to at least get the story and the intro of the game across in this video. So without further ado, Let's get right on into this thing. I don't know about y'all, but this is like the worst part of the game. It's like the intro and like the first two missions. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. We don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know. An old man in town. Man, it ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Voltaire. Voltaire. Why does that sound French, not English? Supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had bad couple of days. 
I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some fuckers. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Now, I could be totally speaking out of my ass, but I want to swear that they put pennies on their eyes so that if they ever woke up out of the dead, they would have money. Tell me that isn't morbid or creepy or crazy or whatever. Done us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. There was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? <laughs> Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> Stop and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Self out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Hello? Excuse me? Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, oh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, trip. we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some There's a body of food. in the wagon. Nah, I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Please. Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend.
didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn, O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. Maybe he's gonna be Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. when you're done. All right, we'll let him go. Get the hell out of here. your name miss miss i gotta say mike is a flat out idiot i know the game wants you to hate him but i mean i like literally loathe that guy he he was my husband oh. well unfortunately sweetheart he ain't your husband anymore thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. 
Last thing we was expecting. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Yeah. Get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice. Just drop it down in here. That's what I'm doing. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? Hell no. It's easier if we do it together. Come on, fat boy, you got it. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you get dumped on the floor there. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Yes, I'm Master Dutch. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Colm O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Yeah! Trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. Hold up here. Whoa! All right, gentlemen, this is it. Let's go. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Are they leaving? Seem to be. Home can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Boys, be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Cole, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. So, what are we doing? Dutch, 
I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, fine. You make the move. All right, on me. Good luck. Headshot. Lock them. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Heads up, boys. We got more coming in from the forest. Ah! Shit, there's a lot of them. What do you think, Arthur? Do we hold ground here? Go at them. I say we go it. This place apart. Arthur, you take that building to the left. What do we got here? Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Going down. Get your ass over here. Ah, yeah. You're ah. coming with me. Just let me go. Come on. Shit. Let's introduce you to the boy. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! Ah! I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. 
Okay. A few days. It's been a bad few weeks. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. Well, Let's do it. Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting on? I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Let's get it. Gentlemen, it's time. Chugga, 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 chugga. Toot, toot. All of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Shit! No! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Here we go! Here we go!
Oh hell no! Oh, he gone. Next shot. Another next shot. Oh, get down, Arthur. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why your crystal brought so many boys up here for this. Get over here. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. I give you my word, but trust me, we will. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. Door open. Now, don't matter too much. That's my bullet hole. You boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish. Run, Forrest. Lickety pluck. Kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <laughs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. Holy. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. I like how they're always leaving me behind. Like, yeah, Arthur, you've got it. Just deal with this and get your ass killed while we're not there to protect you. You got this. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. 
We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. It's perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now, the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it... Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the walkthrough through Red Dead Redemption Chapter 1. I'll be back this week with Chapter 2. If you liked what I have, be sure and smash that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. With that being said, peace until next time.